Welcome to Evening Prayers. Psalm 53, Jim Cotter by Stony Paths has entitled Flesh of Our Flesh. And Sister Mary Stephen's image tonight is of agonised pleading. God walks the earth, a wandering Jew, a holy fool in search of justice. Acid in the rain shrivels the leaves, the wind rattles in the city's throat. Cancerous fish float down the rivers, even the innocent grass is corrupted. We have become as appetites in nightmares, as horses of apocalypse with thundering hooves, like monsters with rave ravaging jaws, devouring what was given to us to cherish. God walks the earth, a poor man in rags, peering into the darkness for one face to, of trust. We have raped the good earth and her peoples, tearing them apart to satisfy greed. We have relished the flesh of our neighbours like lions tearing their prey. The powerful prepare a cannibal feast, harsh eyes glint in the sharpening knives. They have become as flesh-hating gods. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We blind consumers, we follow them. God walks towards us, vulnerable as flesh, a body broken, blood shed. Weighed down with bloodlust, our footing slips. We begin to drown in the floods of despair. O oh God, grasp the hand stretched out in panic before we vanish forever and are no more seen. Forgetting the early days of our pain, afraid of the intimacy we desperately crave, we have speared the flesh of our neighbour, refusing to draw near in healing embrace. So let us pray. Regard that psalm as a psalm of confession and perhaps one of the outcomes of this awful situation with COVID-19 is we are becoming more aware how interrelated we are, how interdependent and how we need to mend our ways. So let's pray. Intimate God, flesh of our flesh, earth of our earth, reveal to us the anger and malice, the greed and pride that masks our pain. Enable us to withdraw the spear of our revenge from the flesh of others and from your flesh, O God. Enclose our hurt in your side that we have wounded and draw us closer to one another in compassion and forgiveness, dependent utterly on your mercy and acceptance. We worship a God who is a pain bearer and who longs for us to turn again with that repentance. So with that in mind, may God grant us a quiet night so that we may walk with him in the morning. Amen.